What is good, y'all? So uh, for tonight's shave, it's Friday night. We'll be going back to the B9 because I absolutely love this brush so far. Um, hope you guys had a good week. And then a good week on a good note. Just trying to see if I can smell the last soap. I don't. Uh, today, we'll be participating in Ken's fine week. That's low key that he didn't want to tell anyone. And we'll be using uh, Santel Absolute. Um, ironically, uh, I got this recently and I was on a hunt to find the, let me, let me get into loading first so I can, okay, cool. Uh, let's go to 115. So yeah, um, originally I was on the hunt to find a dupe for Art of Shaving Sandalwood because I don't know, I just, I didn't want to get the cream. I almost got it. But I didn't want to get the cream. I was like, there has to be a dupe of this stuff. Um, it's just so good. Like, in my in my eyes, it's the best smelling sandalwood you can get on the market. It's just, it's that good. Um, yeah, but dude, to get the full set, it's like, I don't know, like 70 bucks. It's crazy. So we're at 30 seconds. There, we're good. Got plenty of load on there. So this stuff loads like, so this is like a triple nil soap, I believe. Um, yeah, it's pretty hard. I mean, you've seen if you've seen uh, Ken uh, Shea three two six. He's been using this soap all week. Um, it's solid. Um, we'll get more into the base in a moment. So uh, hold on one second. My hands are super slick whenever I rub that on my uh, face. So yeah. Um, disclaimer: I did throw some Bear Sierra on there and some Slick Stick, um, just because I used it before and. I was able to use it on the on its own and test the lather and um, to my surprise it was a very smooth, smooth shave. I had no issues with the slickness whatsoever but um, yeah I used it like over a week ago. My issue was it, with it was uh, what was my issue? It wasn't really that dense. It was like very airy and dense. And once again, this doesn't make the, the soap any less good when I say that. It's just my preference. Oh man, it's not. So yeah, it bloomed a little bit. So far, so good. Yeah, but I wanted to add some density, get a little bit better post shave. But uh, anyways, when I used it the last shave, I... Uh, you know, zero irritation, BBS, it was great. Like, I didn't need anything more. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to make the experience more enjoyable. But yeah, it's just straight up sandalwood. Um, yeah, it's good stuff. I actually have the matching um, Art Shaving Bomb. Um, that stuff is expensive, but I got it for like five bucks. Found it. So I got it, and that's what hooked me on that scent. Actually, disclaimer, my very first uh, shaving soap set was Art of Shaving. It was like this cheap, I had a pure badger. It sucked, man. So how do we get from pure badger to <laughs> declaration grooming badger? I don't know, man. I don't know. A couple years later, you could say. Yeah, since I added other stuff, it's taken the water pretty well. All right, we'll, uh, after I agitate this a bit, we'll get to the shave and I'll go over the razor. What a week, man. You guys see that? What's his name? What the frick is his name? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, yeah, I'm blanking out. Ryan Finley, dude. Shout out to Ryan Finley. <laughs> if he's a real person. Apparently he did a live today with uh, Tim Delaney. Um, I don't know. I didn't check it out. But, um, I mean, Marion said, ha uh, Marion said what had to be said. Um, nothing, nothing more to be said about that. Ooh, look, yo, look at these peaks, dude. Cool, we're under five minutes. Let's get into the shave. 
way too much light on there. Give me a second, guys. Okay, cool. Cool. So today we will be going with. I saw DK use it, and I just could not resist. Used it like last night. Blackland Vector. I freaking love this. This was actually my goat for like a good three, four months. For very good reason. Slow it down a little bit. My only issue, gripe, is it picks up lather way too quick. But that's like, it's because the head is so thin. I prefer the head to be thin. Like, it's a compromise I'm willing to make. So I get more blade feel. It's more aggressive feeling than the Paradigm SE. More than the Razor Rock Hawk V3, which feels pretty mild. That being said, this is not aggressive in any way. Like I used the Blackland Dart, which is a double edge, and that was way more aggressive for me. And I got rid of it like pretty recently, like less than a couple months ago. And it was just too aggressive. You had to like use the absolute, absolute, absolute light pressure for me. I have my eyes on the Tradare. I'm hearing really good things. Just came out. But um, I don't know, I'm chilling out for now. Once you get a Wolfman, you gotta chill out. <laughs> First pass is good. We're just gonna add water and then go back. Actually, I don't even need to add water. I dialed it in pretty good. Yeah, but even then, when I added the A, like the lather is voluminous, but it's not dense, not low structure. And that's just the result of it's a lather. So this artisan, fine accoutrements, started this in 04 as a dupe and uh, it's got uh, pretty standard ingredients. You know, you run into mellow glycerin, your salts, uh, coconut oil. You know, it's kind of like, it really is a classic, kind of like a classic shaving soap, you know? So if you're someone who likes their scents, I heard American Blend is amazing. If you're someone who enjoys those scents and you just want a no frills, like nice type of shave, um, Check out Fine Accoutrements, guys. Yeah, dude, this vector is just crazy. I'm using the Kai Blade on its second use, Kai Captain Mild. You can hear it cutting there. Decent audio feedback. Very efficient razor. It's not the most efficient, but it's it's pretty pretty efficient. Um, I found that it wasn't as smooth as the paradigm against the grain, but I mean, look how thin it is versus the paradigm. Paradigm is ginormous. This is just it's like a stealth jet fighter. I think DK compared it to a bomber, so I was really close to selling this, and then. I was just like, nah, I'm not gonna do it. At least for not for not for now. Yeah, but shout out to Ryan Finley, man. <laughs> like, I, I just don't understand why someone would go through the trouble. I don't know, man. Like, I thought. I mean, I'm I'm new to this part of the community, the YouTube part, but I honestly just thought it's pick, still picking up hair against the green. Um, I feel like we, I, I, like, so I thought, like, we, I thought we just all had our ba each other's backs, you know? Um, I didn't think anyone would, like, turn on each other like that, but, uh, it is what it is. Ken took it like a champ. Ken's a good dude. Yo, I'm, uh, I'm so behind on all these videos, guys. Um, I'm pretty much caught up with DK, Carlitos, I gotta watch. 
Uh, Marion, I'm pretty much caught up. CDB, I'm behind. Uh, Corey, I'll catch up to you guys, uh, your videos later, guys. Probably maybe tonight or tomorrow. So the scent strength is about, I don't know, four out of 10. It's not that strong, but it's, it's definitely there. Yeah, five, four or five. You know, honestly, the only soaps I've tried that are like, like close to eight, like seven, strength and strength is Ariana and Evans. Cause you know, Peter goes ham on those fragrance oils. <laughs> And uh, sterling, not not every sterling though. Only some sterling. Some are stronger than others. Like executive man's pretty weak compared to like my barber shop. Anyways, finishing up. Oh, and about yesterday's video, or was it yesterday? Um, I didn't really say like I didn't really made the. Uh, the Rockwell sound that good, but you could tell it was like a mindless, irritation-free shave. It was really awesome. I enjoyed, like you can't complain about the shaving, uh, the shave it gives, the quality of the shave. I just don't personally care for the bill quality. The head is larger, a little bit heavier. Like I'm not crazy about the bill quality, like the design, but everything else about it, the shave itself is great, especially for the price. But um, I feel like the gaps are all way too similar. They're not noticeably different enough. Like, I guess the, if you're a beginner, that little difference matters. But not really. <laughs> I don't know. Phone's bugging out. Watch. All right, let me try to finish. It's like third pass on my face. But, you know, we always got to hit that BBS. BBS every day. I don't know how you guys only shave with the grain or across. Got to get that BBS, man. All right, let me rinse. And we we'll, uh, finish with a shave up. Yeah, as you can see, it rinses pretty easy. Yeah, so the post shave was just average when I used it, like just the soap alone, without combining it with anything. Um, it was fine, like it just lathers super easy. Um, like if I just loaded from the bowl and painted it on, you would have seen like a layer of lather, like right away. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's the scent. Same reason I got APR. <laughs> I knew I wasn't gonna like the base, but the scent just does it for me, man. Yeah, I'm just using the toilet paper. Um, I gotta try the sponge thing, Doug. I think a couple other people copied him, which is nothing wrong with that. Um, I plan to copy everyone, dude. <laughs> If it, make, if it can help me or make it make me better, I'm, I'm copying it. Anyways, um, yeah, I heard he uses a sponge. Or I've seen him use it. Not sure what the advantage is. I guess it just absorbs all the moisture of, from the blade, which is kind of smart. That's pretty cool. I think I'm behind it. I still have to watch uh, So Sharp David as well. Yeah, I'm just like super behind. I want to support all of you guys, but it's tough. <laughs> There's so many guys and a lot of us upload daily. But it's all good. It's worth it. Um, Are we good? What are we at? 14 minutes? Yeah, I think I'm going to call it. I don't want to go too crazy. The vector makes everything so fast because it's a wire blade. All right. For the uh, post shave. We'll be using the fine Santel Absolute Matching Splash. This stuff, I thought, I would, like, I had to try this. It's, like, the most hyped uh, splash ever, dude. Like, everyone just talks about it. Um, and I'm going to mix it up with the bomb. Uh, 
Um, yeah, because, like, why is it so popular? It's just freaking simple. It's literally, like, fragrance, alcohol, alcohol, uh, glycerin, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, where is it? They don't put it on the bottle. I'm, I'm, I'm literally telling you it's, it's that simple, but... But you know what? I threw it on the face and I was pretty impressed. Also, this restrictor, nothing comes out. Barely. Why not throw a lot? I gotta get the alcohol on there. All right. Yeah, so it didn't burn as much as I thought it would. I was expecting it to burn. I actually missed the spot here like I always do. I don't want to buff too much, I'll get irritation. Yeah, uh, so we'll do the matching bomb. This artist shaving stuff is good, dude. It's just overpriced. Like, anyone who tells you it's not good is just... I don't know what they're talking about, but it's it's overpriced. The artisans have really closed the gap. I think there's menthol. Oh, menthol in the splash. I, didn't, uh, I forgot to mention that. Very weak. But enough to get a hint of it. But yeah, um, yeah, so just summing up, this was for, uh, for Ken's week, <laughs> fine, uh, accoutrements, uh, Blackland Vector, absolutely love this thing, and the Unicorn B9, I'm loving, I'm loving it, it's just, it's just a special brush. Alright guys, that's it, I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.